Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bally Jane. As I'm sure you're aware, Pretty Lausanne 2024 happened a few weeks ago, and us being your most trusted, very favorite ballet nerds on the internet, we made a commentary video on all of the prize winners ballet variations, and we commentated on all of them for you guys. The video will be linked above and below if you're interested in that. Anyway, anyway, y'all really, really liked that video, and we got a lot of requests asking, please, we want to see your contemporaries. Their contemporaries were amazing, and we want to hear your thoughts on the contemporary variations. Who are we to say no? <laughs> we actually haven't talked about contemporary at all on this channel, or at least very little. But seeing that you guys have been with us for about a year now, we thought you guys are ready to expand your horizons and step out of the little ballet box into a slightly larger contemporary box. So here it is. This is our commentary on the winners of this year's Prix de Lausanne 2024 contemporary, contemporary edition. <laughs> we are super, super, super excited to launch directly into the video. And if you are to make sure you hit the like button, share this video with a friend, and we will get rolling. For context, of um, course. <laughs> contemporary dance is often classified as an interpretive dance style. Yeah. And in contrast with classical ballet, contemporary is a lot more free flowing, abstract, and more organic than right. ballet. The technique is rather fluid. There's not necessarily a technique when it comes to contemporary. A lot of the steps are borrowed from ballet and modern and jazz dance styles. And the rest is like no name steps, transitions. Yes. It's just kind of just whatever the music speaks, whatever the heart speaks, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely less rigid yeah. than ballet, where you would have a vocabulary of steps. It's just a beautiful blend of yeah. different movements from different styles mm -hmm. all come together in one dance style. Exactly. You may be wondering, why is there a contemporary category in a primarily classical ballet competition? There are three main reasons why yes. contemporary is important in today's ballet scheme. The first one being the fact that nowadays it is extremely, extremely rare that you will find a company that only performs classical ballet. Yeah. Most companies are gonna have a nice mix of classical works and also contemporary pieces. And in order to be able to thrive in a ballet company setting, you definitely need to have mastered the skill of contemporary in addition to your ballet training. Additionally, when you're doing contemporary, you're doing a lot of different movements that you wouldn't normally be doing if right. you were dancing ballet. And so thereby, the contemporary style of dance really helps to round out your ballet training and to strengthen stabilizing muscles that you wouldn't normally get to utilize dancing ballet. It really helps dancers, it's not cross-train, but kind it of. It kind of is. To kind of cross-train a dancer and help them to keep up with the current athletic demands of modern ballet today. Thirdly, contemporary opens doors for a much wider range of expression. Yeah. Because sure. classical ballet often is quite reserved. Not all the time, but ballet is usually quite reserved and quite poised in comparison. And also the music, which is, you know, usually not classical music like ballet. Mm -hmm. It does open up opportunities for the dancers to explore different forms of movement and also kind of broaden their musicality skills as well. So all that to say, having a contemporary category in a classical ballet competition is pretty important and it's very helpful to the judges to be able to see how versatile the dancers are and also just their ability to move in different ways aside from the very strict positions of classical ballet and also see their ability to completely let loose, be vulnerable, and emote on the stage. A secret fourth reason of why contemporary is important is it's just it's really just fun. It's really fun. Yeah. I love contemporary. Contemporary is awesome. It's it's cool. It's like a different art form. It's a different medium, but it's very beautiful in its own way. <laughs> so there you have it, everybody. Contemporary is important. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Contemporary is important. Let's go get some cookies. <laughs> Prito Lozana is actually pretty neat because they have a set of contemporary selections for the dancers to choose from each year. And we appreciate this very much because in a lot of other competitions, the dancers are allowed to bring their own unique contemporary piece to yes. the competition. And while it's nice to see new works coming into the competition, it makes the judging a lot more subjective because yeah. you can't compare things that are so different and yeah. it just makes it a whole lot harder to judge. But with Prito Lozana, they have their own set selections of contemporary pieces for the dancers to choose from. So it makes judging it a lot easier, and it's a little bit easier to compare, if you yeah. will. It becomes kind of like judging the ballet variations, yeah. in a way. 
So the choreographers for this year's contemporary variations are Yorma Illo, Kathy Marston, and Christopher Wielden, along with Elena Dombrowski and Alicia Walker, who were actually the Prix de Lausanne's winners of the Young Creation Award in 2023. And the Young Creation Award, in case you don't know, is an award that the Prix de Lausanne gives to aspiring choreographers. So let's go! We are going to be talking you through each of these beautiful nine prize winners, yep. contemporary solos, and appreciating the unique interpretation of each dancer in these beautiful contemporary works. All right, you guys, let's do it. We have our beautiful nine prize winners from this year's Prix de Lausanne, which you will probably recognize from the previous video. We're gonna be working in the same order, going from ninth to first, but we will be saving our official contemporary award dancers till the end. Here we go. We're starting with number 207, Taichi Toshida, who is 15 years old from Japan. He was our ninth scholarship winner, and he's going to be performing Do You Care, choreographed by Alicia Walker, mm -hmm. with music by Johannes Bornloff. This is the one that everybody did, by the way. Yeah, everybody did. We'll be did seeing this like one. four of these. I love the look of concentration when they're walking on I stage. I know. You almost feel it yourself. Yeah, I know. You're like. I love seeing the difference between their classical and their contemporary. Yeah, so do I. Wow, nice grow through that position. Very fluid. I love how he portrays the story, I guess. Even though there is no story, but he takes you on that journey. Mm -hmm. Kind of like his inner thoughts, I guess. You can see it in his body language, in his eyes as well. Yeah, which we saw in his classical variation as well. Yeah. He had a beautiful portrayal, you know, using his face and eyes to tell the story. For sure. You can see, like, questions and answers and... Mm -hmm. Discoveries and then also, like... Like, wonder and awe and, like, trepidation almost. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, beautiful! That was that was fabulous. I love how you can so clearly see the positions and you can so clearly see what he was trying to create here. It's nice. not blurry, it's not making you question what was that supposed to be. It's so clear. Yeah. Oh, that was lovely. That too. was very nice. The emphasis of the head and eyes. Mm -hmm. It's really his strong suit. Definitely. And I think this particular variation shows that off really well, for sure. Wow! Our first pause of the day, folks! Oh, he flew! He soared, he hung in the air, and he like didn't have to come down. He just like out of nowhere too, out with like nowhere. no apparent strain. It didn't feel like he was ta gonna take off. I love that. The accent of the, the head. The use of the head and the arms in coordination with each other. Yeah, it was very, very nice. I like the tension and release there. Mm -hmm. That was really nice. <sighs> wow. And he flies. Speechless. Nice musicality there. You can feel the cadence of the music already. Beautiful wow. control there. It's completely circular. Wow. All right. Blade. Well done, sir. Well done. That was beautiful. That was so nice. I really enjoyed that. You can see the his strength really come out in the expression of yeah, everything. I definitely. mean, it, it was so evident in his classical as well. Yeah. But like, it just really shines through here. Mm -hmm. And not to mention just like, his airtime. His airtime was definitely something to note. Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing I really liked to see was that beautiful devil pay to the side with the rotation to the ponche arabesque. That was so beautiful. Yeah. And especially seeing, you know, the whack in his classical yeah. variation. <laughs> Being able to see the range of motion in the other leg in his contemporary. If I were one of the judges, it was nice to see that he can do both sides. Yeah. And it wasn't, he wasn't just like a one-sided dancer. He was very articulate. And I like that about 
about this performance. He never makes you question what the step was supposed to be or what the choreography was supposed to be. He makes it so evident and so well known what the step yeah. was and what the shape was supposed to look like and he yeah. absolutely executed it like perfectly. Every phrase, he had something different to say. Mm -hmm. It wasn't monotone in terms of expression. You could really see a journey that you could follow yeah. as well. It wasn't just one solid emotion throughout the entire thing. Mm -hmm. It was like, it kind of went. Yeah, it ebbed and flowed and weaved in and out of different ideas. Mm -hmm. And it was very, very clear. Tai Chi. Good job. We love this variation on you. You did so, so good. You knocked it out of the park. We loved it. And that massive bama fuerte sote. <sighs> Need we say more? No words. No words. It was exquisite. 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 Next up, number 302. Natalie Steele, 17 years old from the United States, and she's doing Plan to Be by Jarma Ello with music by Heinrich Fiber. She was our eighth scholarship winner. She did an absolutely beautiful job with her Aurora variation. She was a very, very strong, very classical dancer. We're excited to show you her skills in the contemporary works as well. Tear it up, Natalie. Yeah, yes. deep, deep oh, breath, focus. deep breath. Oh, the intensity right away. Running start. This is a very fast piece, very continuous. Wow, beautiful lines. She does a beautiful job of making things very clear and phrased. Yeah. Even in though even though this music is very continuous, yeah, she still adds her phrasing to it. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Wow. wow! The beautiful circle. It was that a perfect was... circle. I wow, like... that was very clear. Yeah. It can feel so light and also so grounded. Yeah. She's able to switch between both modes so effortlessly. Yeah. In the silence. Nice. Beautiful. Very nice, Natalie. Nice job, Natalie. This is a difficult piece. Very difficult piece. The music, I mean, it, it because it's so, it's so continuous. And yeah. So fast, fast, and the dancing it has like so many different levels. Yeah. So you have to make that conscious very strong in order for a piece like this to work. Mm -hmm. But I think she, I think she made it very interesting to watch. I think yeah. she made it engaging and also very beautiful. I love seeing her execute those beautiful, clean parallel lines mm -hmm. with her arms and her legs. It's very hard to control long limbs like hers, but you can see the amount of clarity and the strength and the precision that she yeah. has, as, and at such a young age too. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. I, I do want to point out that little pirouette where like the arms ah, go in a perfect circle the windmill everybody <laughs> it was so beautiful that was really beautiful and it's actually deceptively hard to do yeah, because your arms have to go up here and it has to go down this way and mm -hmm. then back up the other way so we have to be at a perfect angle yeah i was I speechless for that that, that because was that so was beautiful. really cool the pictures were very clear for mm -hmm. her as well and it's hard to make a clear picture when everything's so fast yeah it's very easy just to make it blur into each other exactly but, but she, made she made it picture and picture and picture yes. connected with beautiful phrasing as yes. well. Yes. So. Bravo, Bravo Natalie. to Natalie Steele. Absolutely beautiful portrayal of a difficult, difficult piece. Yes. So we yes. love this one. Applause. Good job. All right. So our next one, our seventh scholarship winner, number four seventeen, Julian Vidal Millar, aged eighteen from France, and he's performing Christopher Wheeldon's piece "Urge for Going" with music by Joni Mitchell. Always stay close to the downstage curtain. Yep. Very nice. Stage rules. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very different approach from his classical. It's mm -hmm. a much more lyrical, yes. gentle variation in comparison to the very strong, yeah, voice very Piquita. proud Paquita variation. It's a very fluid variation. I think it, it suits his long limbs really yeah. well. <laughs> he has limbs for days, you yeah. guys. <laughs> so nice. seamless. Very nice. Wow, so fluid. It seems so easy and effortless. Mm -hmm. 
almost feels like a dream, you know? Yeah. It shows his versatility. For too. sure. Very nice, clean shapes. Mm -hmm. Which suits his length and his height. Yeah, definitely. I like how he doesn't exclude his head and his neck from his spine. That's mm. sometimes um, a problem we see with, you know, ballet dancers trying to do contemporary. Um, but he's able to let loose and like make the entire spine so fluid and so continuous. Yes. And that's really important for ballet, but especially in contemporary. It makes it feel continuous and never ending, and it yes. makes it feel like that organic feeling that contemporary tends towards. Yeah. Beautiful turn there, very nice. The use of the spine is so important, and he, yeah. he does it really well too. He does. And it, from the spine, it he also uses the arms and the legs really mm -hmm. well. So everything is a very cohesive package, very coordinated. Yeah. Very yeah. nice control. Wow. Control into that end. Position. Yeah. Wow. Very well done. Very beautifully done. Very wow. nice versatility as well because and the hair flip. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bow. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Julian and he goes with all the hair flips for this entire competition. For real. First is Nikita. <laughs> Boom. He has so many hair flips in this variation, and then at the very end for his bow, one more hair flip <laughs> to finish it off. One final end. hair flip. <laughs> There we go. I've there done it. Go. I think it was beautiful to showcase two completely different sides of the dancer. Mm -hmm. It's really crazy when you see them in a classical yes. and then you see them in their contemporary and you, they're basically unrecognizable because yeah. they put on a completely different aura. It's so beautiful to see the classical technique that he has to back his contemporary work. It shines through. Like all his turns were immaculate. The lines, the control, mm -hmm. everything was there. And especially for a variation like this that tends towards a more lyrical, almost ballet style yeah it was nice to see you know those qualities come through in yeah. terms of lines and the cleanliness of it all yeah. so it was very very well executed the coordination was next level yes. as well everything got into a shape all yes. at once all so at it was once. a cohesive shape and then he would move out of it all cohesively exactly so it was never disjointed mm -hmm. everything was very smooth everything collected cohesive i do want to highlight that final passage yes. from here all the way to the floor. All the way down. It's deceptively hard to it lower is. yourself, especially those last six inches. Uh huh. Getting from like six uh, yeah. inches off the floor to actually on the floor without fidgeting. Yeah. Into it. It was so clean. Just. Oh, it was satisfying. Jillian, good job. This was fabulous. Beautiful work. Beautiful mm -hmm. interpretation of this piece. Nice so. job. Nice job. Next up, our sixth scholarship winner, number 411, Jensen Blight, 17 years old from Australia. He's going to be performing Tu Va Bien by Elena Dombrowski with music by Viveri. 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 <laughs> Okay, dancing in silence is a dancer's nightmare. Dancing in silence leaves absolutely zero room for error because every single little mistake, every little wobble is emphasized like tenfold. But he's doing really good. Look at these clean the crisp. positions and shapes. Yeah. There's no like bounce. It's so stable. Yeah, it's clean. Like, not robotic, but almost that yeah. level of clean. Mm -hmm. It's calculated. Yeah. Nice. Whoa. Melt into that. Wow. That transition. The smoothness, too. Working through difficult transitions, difficult positions. Beautiful fluid arms. Wow. All on Clean. one leg. See, contemporary, you would do kind of difficult shifting of weight and energy and momentum mm -hmm. that you wouldn't do in ballet. Yeah. So you get to see how he can deal with all these weight shifts 
with all this direction change. Whoa! Whoa! Speaking of direction changes, why don't we defy gravity out while of, doing it? Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Just like, boom, and he's just like three feet in the air. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to see that again. These children can jump. I'm telling you. Wow. Wow. Nice, clean positions. Wow. So still. Whoa! <gasps> to the floor. But it didn't feel heavy. It's just like... Like a soft closed drawer. Yes. Wow, so square. Hold Look at that this. balance. Yeah. Nice. There were so many one leg change of direction. Beautiful. I love his dynamics. Loving it. I'm speechless. I'm just enjoying his dancing right now. No, for <laughs> real. Wow. So clean. This is a long variation too. It is. Comparatively. It's very easy to show that you're losing, you know, stamina. Yes. But he seems He's... to be doing just fine. Yeah, no sign of fatigue <laughs> here. Nice. So smooth. He's doing a good job. Nice. He makes the story so wow. clear with his eyes and ex his expression and the accents and the body and everything. <gasps> Whoa! Very, very, very nice. Wow. Wow. There were so many impactful moments in this variation. For sure. That was so, 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 so good. He brought the same confidence from his classical into his contemporary. Definitely. He executed every single step and every single movement with 100% energy. Yeah, the and energy and the intention. Yeah, with the intention, I think that's what it is. Yeah. He knew exactly what he was doing. The parts where it was supposed to be very controlled and measured, he had that. Mm -hmm. And the parts where, you know, you're supposed to just let loose and Let go, loose and explode. And explode, he did that. Those first positions in the opening yes. sequence in silence, Yeah. it was so precise. Because it didn't have any of like, you know when you move and it kind of like bounces, bounces or rebounds a little rebounds bit. Rebounds a little bit. There was none of that, it was like, and it's just, it just fits. Precision. And then it fits. And there were also some moments where it had that soft close effect. That one jump where he absolutely soared and went whoom, straight to the yeah. ground, but like it wasn't jarring. It was like ninjas. Oh my goodness. And that's not an easy illusion to create. The fact that he's so young and able to already master these illusions of like defying gravity, not just in the takeoff, but also in the descent, which is I'd, I'd say is even harder. I have no words. I'm very impressed. This mm -hmm. is really, really, really good. Applause. Applause. Hats off to you, sir. <laughs> nice work. All right. Our fifth scholarship winner, number 315, Eri Kobayashi, 18 years old from Japan. She gave us a very ethereal variation. And as you'll see in a moment, she completely changes gears here, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. She's performing the first Flash Solo 1 yes. by Yorma Illo with music from the Violin Concerto by John Sibelius. We love Sibelius. Sibelius is a classical composer. Let's go, girl. Let's go. Nice. Oh, the walk-on. I, I feel my heart racing. The walk-on is always so intense. <sighs> Another one starting in silence. Again, any wobble will be so emphasized here. Nice. Nice expansion. You can see the energy is flowing up and out. I love how the elbow and the knee were connected so well there. Mm -hmm. Slow control. She's really taking her time here. Yeah. And with these silences, um, the music operator will time the, to start the music when she's ready. So she's allowed to take as much or as little time as she wants with this first section. The guts it takes to go oh on stage, goodness. dance in complete silence. And just trust that the music operator will be watching and knowing when to cue your music. Exactly. <laughs> but she's taking a nice, slow approach yeah. to build a suspense and- It's working, I'm feeling suspenseful. Yes, definitely. Yes. And 
go. Nice. And it's completely different movement style. Before it was slow and controlled, now she's just bursting with energy. Mm-hmm. It's sharp and articulate. Wow. Just... Nice. I like that passage. I like it on her too. It just flowed. That was beautiful too. Mm -hmm. I love I how she slid on the glyphs. <laughs> that worked so well. And we're done. That was the shortest <laughs> solo that we've seen yet. Oh my gosh. Run out and fade out. Ah! <laughs> I wish wow. I could have seen more of her, honestly. I know. I was enjoying it. It was over too fast. That's my only complaint. But <laughs> other than that, Aerie, well done. Yeah. I love this one moment where she had this, like, that feel uh -huh. with her arm. And it was like... And that was what we mean by resistance. We actually had a couple comments asking, hey, please explain resistance. So using resistance in your dancing is very important, for, both for classical and for contemporary. Yes. If you're going to move your arm, right, right, you could move it like this, or you could use resistance, which is where you imagine someone pushing against your arm. Mm -hmm. So you have that kind of feel, resistance. Yeah, the resistance as in like the tension yeah. within the transitions between position to position. But resisting is, resistance is a very important concept yes. in all forms of dance. And she did a really good job because most of this variation is hit. Yeah. It's all just like, you have to just just hammer the, it like, out. Move the arm, like it's everything had to be very, very precise on the music and just like mm -hmm. go for it. But then the moments where you have to resist, she completely switched gears. The contrast way. between the hit movement and also the resistive movement is what makes dance and art. Is because you're using different mediums, different ways of movement, combining them together, showing that contrast, and then that creates a very clear picture, if you will, because you can see those very definitive barriers and lines and like borders yeah. for your dancing. But I love the, the slide on the gliss. <laughs> that, that, made me, <laughs> that made me so happy. <laughs> Anyway, well beautiful done, work, Aerie. Aerie. Beautiful so, work. so, so good. We'll be reserving our two contemporary award winners to the end. So yes. we're going to jump straight to the third scholarship winner, Paloma Livelara Vidar, number, number 317. She is 18 years old from Argentina, and she is going to be dancing the variation called You Turn Me On, I'm a Radio by Christopher Wielden, music by Joni Mitchell. She won the audience favorite award. I, I almost believe it was because of this one. I believe I loved so her too. classical, but this one made you smile. This is my personal favorite out of all of them. Anyways, let's get right into it. She's already in character, taking her time. Exactly, eating the silence. This one's on point too, so you'll see a lot more ballet influence in this particular piece. Already feeling the music. Oh wow. She looks like she's having such a good time too. I love that, so luxurious. Ah. I love it because her arms and her back and her head always have that follow through. I love that her, all her jumps are so light. light. I love that. Oh, it's so lovely. And it's contagious, the way she's having such a good time, you know? It's so fun. This is my favorite passage. It's just, <laughs> it's just like she's in her kitchen yeah. waiting for her toaster to pop. Yeah, just like vibing just in her vibing, you yeah. know. It's. I want to get up there and dance with her because she looks like she's genuinely having such a good time. Mm hmm. This is so so good. Clean turns. Her ballet technique is so strong, even though she's doing all this wild movement, you know? Yes. It's, her technique is so solid that she can execute this flawlessly. I love the choreography too, because it's sometimes so classical ballet, and then all of a sudden, it just becomes so candid and so fun. She's the perfect dancer for this variation. It, seriously, it fits her so well. Mm -hmm. It's like she was born for this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
And to pull something like this off, you need to have a certain amount of charisma. Yeah, you need to be able to do it all the way. You can't do this one half-baked, yeah, for sure. Exactly. That little jump was the cutest thing. And she's gonna sell it all the way off. The little look over the shoulder. I love it. <laughs> oh, so you so good. She's so, so good. Wow. Wow. I genuinely love this variation on her specifically. So, so good. Wow. Wow. Seriously, I'm I'm amazed. I know why she won. The audience favorite. Audience favorite award. It was just contagious. Like, she didn't even look like she was trying to portray too much to the audience. No. She was just having a great time. Yeah. Up there by herself, doing yeah. her thing. Yeah. It was really from her heart. She was... Mm -hmm. genuinely dancing. It felt genuine, that's yeah. the word. And of course she had that beautiful use of arms that we saw and we enjoyed so much oh in her my gosh. classical. What's beautiful about contemporary is there's a lot more freedom. When you think that the arms are just gonna stop here, they just go that much further. And yeah. that extra extension, the expansion, is what makes it that much more captivating. I just love how her back is like the life giver of all of her movement. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very powerful source of energy. And I think that's a principle in classical ballet as well. If you look at the Vaganova technique, they, they really emphasize, you know, using the back and like having the spine truly involved in the movement. The results speak for themselves. I mean, like it's just a beautiful finish to the yeah. movement. I just love the way that she incorporated so many little nuances throughout her dancing, right down to the eye contact, the inclination of the shoulders and the head. And also her musicality, like she wasn't just dancing on the music, but she absolutely embodied the music right down to the way each note was played or sang. Like if there was an accent in the note, she would put an accent in her dancing. And if they kind of slid into the note, she would just slide into that particular movement. It was just, it was really perfectly done. She did get audience favorite mm -hmm. for very good reason. Both both her pieces that she presented for the yeah. competition were absolutely stellar. Yeah. Paloma, if you're watching. Well done. We absolutely adored both of your variations. This one was really, really, really cute, though. Really. This is a very, very, very nicely done. We're going to skip on ahead to our first scholarship winner and the winner of the gold medal of Frida Lazan 2024. Number 201, Joao Pedro de Santos Silva, age 15, from Brazil. A fabulous, fabulous dancer. Did you know that he was actually the youngest finalist? So, like, of the 20 finalists, he was the youngest one. He was the youngest one. Comes up here, decides to give clown, and, and then <laughs> Anyway, um, he's also a very versatile dancer, as you'll see in just a moment. He's performing Plan to Be by Yarma Ello. This one was the difficult one. I think we saw who, who did Natalie did this one. Natalie did this one, too. I love contemporary because you can do the same variation and make it look completely different. For sure. He has such a more raw athleticism and energy to it. Yes. I love the use of that head there. That yeah. That was very nice. It's a different take than Natalie did, but yeah. that's the beauty of contemporary is that you can make it your own. Whoa, very nice. nice. Nice pull with the head there. Wow. Oh, that little... That, the, the arm yeah. is so articulate. This is a short variation. It is very short. Wow. It was very, very nice, though. It was so cool. You could see complete different interpretations from the two different dancers that we've seen so far. Yeah, for sure. Beautiful Joao Pedro. Very nice. Nicely done. Very Beautiful. well. Wow, it was so fast. It just was like all a blur. My favorite was this whole <laughs> boom. That was oh. so good. His it's, use of head in general. Yes. It's, it's very a little impactful. like accent. Musically, it really worked and it was very satisfying to watch. And it was 100%, 100%, 100% through all the continuous yeah. motion until the very, very end of the piece. It was like complete power just like 
unleashed mm -hmm. on the stage just now. It was just like a rapid fire, just like yeah. going and going and going and going and going. Natalie's was a lot more measured, calculated. His was a little bit more like- More chaotic. More, but not in a yeah. bad, disorganized way. Yeah. It was organized chaos. Well, that's our gold medalist, everybody. There's our gold medalist. <laughs> Beautiful duality there. Yes. Completely different, almost unrecognizable. It was yeah. genuinely very, very good. Before we go on to our contemporary award recipients, we're gonna give some love to our Ballet Rain Recognition Award winners from the last video. If you don't know what we're talking about, go watch that video, you'll understand. Number 306, of course, Rei Fukuyama, 17 years old from Japan. She's performing First Flash Solo 1 by Yorma Illo. Sibelius. The, the Sibelius one. Let's do it. Let's do it. She takes a much faster approach than Aerie did. Mm -hmm. She's taking it a little bit quicker. It's more of that intensity and like that urgency, I guess. Ooh, and like how she looks at us here. That's yeah, good. Yeah, lock eyes with the audience. Yeah. She has a very intimidating presence in this particular. Wow. The laser so focus too strong. Not even when she's just looking at the audience, but when she's looking at anywhere else, you can see just the absolutely zeroed in focus. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. That was so beautiful. Isolations are on point. Yes, for sure. Wow. Wow! Beautiful lines. Split and run out. <laughs> it's so short. It's so short. It's so fast. I wanted to see more. She was explosive. Wow. That was very, very impressive. I feel almost stunned. Like there was just so much that just happened just now. I love when she did that huge run and jump. It was just yes. like, boom, explosive. Her intensity level was through the roof. She knew that she only had a few brief moments to make a statement and she absolutely brought it. And of course she had just the amazing amount of strength and stability to maintain this high, high level of athleticism in this variation. We saw this beautiful stability in her classical as well, and she really brought it into her contemporary. Again, just drawing that, that line of contrast between the resistive movements and the accented, almost yeah. punched, attacked mm -hmm. movements. She's so young, but already so mature in that integrity and knowing what movement calls for what, and also incorporating the music. Also, her sort of emotional journey that she's taking us on, with all those factors combined, she's able to calculate this is how to get that message delivered. Yeah. And she delivered. Beautiful. Applause. Ray, you were, we absolutely adore you. You're a fabulous dancer. Fabulous we, dancer. We love you so much. Beautiful job. Moving on to our contemporary award winners. We have number 106, Crystal Huang, 15 years old from the United States. And she was our fourth scholarship winner of Frida Lausanne, but she also got the contemporary dance award for obvious reasons, as you'll see in a second. <laughs> she is performing Do You Care by Alicia Walker. Here we go. My goodness, rolling through the spine that way. That was so beautiful. She moves like water. Wow. Owing to, also to her flexibility. She's a very flexible dancer. Yes, she is. Wow. Again, the contrast between the sharp movements and the resistive ones. Very nice split there. I love that she showed that the position. Second and over. Yes, it was very clean. so fluid. I cannot believe it. It's like she loses her bones. Like she... Yeah. It really does. Beautiful. And her eyes tell the story mm -hmm. for her. It's beautiful. Beautiful airtime. Love it. And it matches with the grace notes. 
Mm -hmm. music. Let's see. Again, natural, Beautiful. easy extension that never looks strained. Wow. Wow, and they'll just hold there. Beautiful country. That's nice. 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 Wow. It's so wild in some areas, and then also very controlled and calculated in others. Yeah. Beautiful extensions. Nice explosive. I love, I love that her, passage. I love how her head followed through. Beautiful. Wow. wow. Very emotional, very moving piece. Yeah. No wonder the judges love this. I'm in awe of just her suppleness. Like yeah. through the spine. That from this Again. very first like Yes, oh, that that through? first roll through. She has no bones. <laughs> like yeah, her quality. It was just it was just so fluid. Like you said, it was like water. The water just kept flowing, but then you just all of a sudden see the shape assemble, mm -hmm. and it was just it was enchanting almost. Yeah. It was really 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 nice. There's such a, a continuation throughout her entire body, like from shoulders, elbows, wrists, and even down to her hands and fingers, everything just flowed together so perfectly. All her limbs had a story to tell, but it was all still cohesive and yeah. beautiful. They all worked together to tell us a singular tale. I loved her use of pause in this variation. She had so many amazing moments where it was just, just some breathing room. It was a beautiful artistic touch and added so much depth to the choreography. Crystal Huang, congratulations. We absolutely adored your performances, both of them. This one was very, very good. And congratulations on winning the Contemporary Dance Award. Yes. Very, very well, well deserved, deserved. Mm -hmm. award for sure. And now we're moving on to our other Contemporary Dance Award winner and the winner of the second scholarship of Prita Lausanne, number 415, Martino Lima Santos, 17 years old from Portugal. He did the amazing Ali variation that we saw in the classical selection. And it. that one left us breathless, and yes. this one did too, so we're really excited to show you. He also did Do You Care by Alicia Walker. Clearly, this was a dancer's favorite for good reason. The choreography is very, very good. The music is fabulous. It's, it, it leaves a lot of room for interpretation. Yes. I think. Like, we saw Tai Chi give it a much more inquisitive, curious approach yes. to it. Crystals was a lot more vulnerable, despairing. a lot more despairing. So, we'll see what interpretation he brings to the table. Bring it, Martino. Wow, a lot of energy in yeah. the first. Clean, very fast articular rond jumps too. I like the acceleration there, that was nice. Wow. He puts a lot more power and emphasis in his hit moments. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed his resistive port de bras in his classical. Yes. And the contemporary is no exception. For sure. It's truly a part of who he is, the dancer. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of Matthew Ball. A little bit, hey? He does. He does remind me of him. Love that. Oh, I love that. That, that was a beautiful passage. I like how he almost interrupts himself with a new thought. Mm, yeah. It, it really reads so well from an audience perspective. Mm -hmm. This jump here, he's like, pauses himself there. It's a new idea, new thought. Wow. It's so articulate. You can almost.
animals here. Continuation. I love that the arms brought up the leg. That was nice too, yeah. Different facial expressions as well tell the different stories. Wow, nice. seamless, seamless, seamless roll to the floor. Oh, I love that. <sighs> Dreamy. No, oh, the head accent using the was whole so head. Good. Yeah, the accents. Beautiful clean shadows too. <sighs> nice. He soars. Oh, oh. nice. I love wow. that. Complete abandon too. So circular. Beautiful. <gasps> nice. Oh. Nice. That almost hurt. Yeah. That last one almost hurt. Wow. wow. Okay. Martino. Right. No wonder he got the award, contemporary the contemporary award. dance award. Yeah, that right. that was impactful. I personally appreciate that run to the corner and just like the fling. Yeah, it looks it looks impressive for one, but as a dancer, I feel like it's a beautiful sacrifice because it's not easy and it's not comfortable to fling yourself backwards, yeah. almost like whiplashing yourself. It's a sacrifice, and I feel like a lot of contemporary dance is you know all the difficult like impactful movements. Mm -hmm. It's it's taxing. It's not easy by any means. Yeah. But when you see that, it's a sacrifice that he made, mm -hmm. and it was it was beautiful. It was yeah. a beautiful, beautiful sacrifice. And you can see that he really left all of himself. Yeah. On the stage. Yeah. You know, he didn't withhold anything. Yeah. From us, he gave us everything that he had, and it was so evident, mm -hmm. and it was very, very beautiful, and it was worth it, Martino. If you're watching, <laughs> we felt it. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful work, Martino. Excellent, excellent job. We loved wow. all of your performances. All of them. <laughs> A very promising young dancer. Yes. We can't wait to see where you go in, in your career. There you have it, everybody. Can we get a round of applause for all the wonderful dances we got to watch today? We were so excited to share this video because contemporary is a huge part of the modern ballet scheme today. And truly, I think it's very important that all the different facets and sides of the dancers as artists and as athletes is due for appreciation and for, for sure. love and support. So if this video did that for you and helped you to appreciate a part of ballet that you never really noticed before, then hit the like button to spread the good ballet nerd vibes to all the dancers around the world. If you want to stay up to date on these amazing, talented dancers, Prix de Lausanne will be posting which schools and companies these dancers decide to go to with these scholarships in a couple of weeks on their website. We'll leave the link below if you want to go check it out. And if you want to watch more of them, of course, our commentary on the ballet variations a Prix de Lausanne this year will be linked above and below if you want to check it out after this one. Also, if you would like to hear more of our thoughts and commentaries about different other pieces of ballet repertoire, then we have an entire playlist dedicated to it. So we really encourage you to dive in and give it a look. Make sure you comment below your thoughts and opinions on all these different pieces. If you had a performance that you particularly loved, do not hesitate to comment below because we always love to hear your thoughts and we're always interested to hear all the different details and insights that you have to share with our Ballet Nerd community. Anyway, I think that is all from us for now. This is Ballet Rain signing off. Until the next video. Bye. You might be wondering why is there a contemporary selection, a contemporary section? A contemporary division? Division. Wait, contemporary. Contemporary what? There's the word. Where's the word? What's the word? Contemporary. contemporary it's not division. Competition. What's the, what is it? It's a the contemporary. It's com contemporary division? No, it's not a division. What is it? Contemporary competition. I had the word last night. Yeah, I know. I knew exactly what the... It's like, it's the same meaning as division, right? Yeah, it's like a division, like a contemporary division. Or like Category. Category! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Chainsaw neighbor, everybody. You haven't seen much of him all year, but he's back.